Hi, Julian Sutherland here. I'm at the Boutique Display. We're extremely excited. We've have a, had a great run of sales. We've done 14 sales worth $15.9 million worth over just over a month during Christmas and the New Year period, which is very exciting. We've got a great bunch of people that have bought in the building. They're all mainly downsizers. They're all owner occupiers. We've got some coming from interstate and we've got mainly local buying, so that's a great sign for the building. There's only 28 apartments left now, and there's still a, some, some really good ones. We've had the penthouses, which have been purchased by a couple in Brisbane, and they're combining it into one amazing uh, $3.5 million beautiful apartment on the top floor. So exciting news and exciting times for the Gold Coast and Chevron Island with Boutique. So what I love most about living on the Gold Coast is, and particularly Chevron Island, is the fact that here on the island, you're 800 metres away from the beach. So everything's central, no matter where you want to go, you're not in the car for more than 10 or 15 minutes. And also everything's walkable. I love riding my bike, so there's bike paths from here all the way up to the spit and right down the Burley without a hill. Every morning I get up and it's become a bit of a ritual now. There's a little coffee shop down the road called Cafe Bonsai. And that's very community oriented. It's, everyone waves and says hello. It's, it's Chevron Island, people don't, don't know it. It's, it's a really friendly little community. We wanted somewhere that was very close to the action of the Gold Coast, but just a little bit back with a village kind of vibe. And that's exactly what we found at Chevron Island. We've got the view that actually looks up to broad water so we, and the river in front, so we get all the nice water views through the day, but when we look to the right, we, we've got the city skyline view, which is great when it lights up at night. Uh, one thing that appealed to us about a boutique was all the facilities. We were looking for a place that had a swimming pool, had a gym, not too big, but big enough for us. And if, if you could get a bit of sun, that'd be great. And there's a rooftop garden where you can go away and have a bit of peace and quiet, which at our age is quite good. One of the advantages to the boutique is that it's a resident only block. So that really attracted us as well as the fact that there was only 42 apartments in the block because we didn't want to pick a property that had transient holiday makers moving in and out on a weekly basis. I found boutique because I was looking for a main river property. So when I found boutique, it was only 42 units, four per floor. I thought, well, this is it. And then I came and looked at the display and I, I signed up to it, made an offer straight away. I, I bought a three bedroom unit and I like the fact that it has like an extra little media room. Plus it's got the one bedroom on one side and then it's completely separate to the other two bedrooms. Uh, so you look straight up the broad water all the way to South Stradbroke Island and then off to the right you've got All Buds Beach and, and the river. Dealing with Julian, he always really kept me well informed though. It was, it was a nice simple process so I talked to them about the developer and one of the things I do like is the developer is the builder. So there's no middleman there. So I think it'll go up a lot quicker than a lot of these other developments on the island. The fixtures in the property were great. Uh, we had a look at the showroom, which obviously shows all the, all the kitchen finishes and certainly all, all the bathroom finishes. It really suited us. I think our biggest thing was there was a light shade and a dark shade and it was very hard to pick the difference because they both looked fantastic. I had a great positive experience with the team at Boutique. We didn't find them as pushy salespeople. They just gave you the information that you were asking for and waited for you to ask questions. 